Hello, how's it going? My name is Blueport and welcome to episode 10 of Spotlight. Now, if you're unsure what we do on Spotlight, then where have you been, man? We're on episode 10. What we do, we jump on Pokemon Showdown, Battle Spot Singles, and use Pokemon that you recommend in the comments down below. That's right, you can recommend me Pokemon. Let's have a look at what we are using in this episode. We're using Shiftry as recommended by Wadoing Man, long time subscriber, really cool guy. I battled him uh, about a year ago on the channel. Link in the description down below. He is a really cool guy. Go check out his channel. They recommend that I use Shiftry as they think that there is no possible way to use Shiftry in Battle Spot Singles. I beg to differ. I'm using a Chlorophyll Shiftry with a Focus Sash, running Leaf Storm, Focus Blast, Nasty Plot, and Dark Pulse. I'm basically going with the Chlorophyll set, helped out by Torkoal down below here. Running the White Herb Drought set, I'm just going all out in case the Shift Tree doesn't work, and I, I can, this talk can still hold its own despite having the Drought for Utility to help out the Shift Tree. We then have Tapu Lele holding the Choice Specs, Psychic Surge. You probably know this set by now if you played any kind of competitive Pokémon. You know this thing sucks if you come up against it. You are basically dead, so I'm going to have a great time using a Specs Tapu Lele. It's going to be great. Then we have Darmanitan holding the Choice Scarf. This thing is one of my favorite Pokémon. For some reason, it's in UU, but it definitely holds it uh, holds its own in OU. Up there in the corner now is a battle where I used Darmanitan and Rex Shop in OU. It takes out a Landorus, it's great. Then we have Gyarados, one of my favorite all-time Pokemon Gyarados. I did not realize how much I love this thing. This thing is awesome. I'm running Mega Gyarados because it's allowed in Battle Spot and it's crazy cool. Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Waterfall, Crunch, you know the deal. And then for the first time on the channel, I'm using Celesteela. That's right, I did not realize how good this Ultra Beast is. It is crazy powerful. Its stats are ridiculous. I'm running a Life Orb. Beast Boost, of course, special attacking one, mainly because he gets Flamethrower, boosted by the sun with Torko. It has some kind of synergy, and I thought, you know, it might be quite fun to use. So, enough waiting, let's jump into our first battle. So, like while doing, man, if there is a Pokemon you are dying to see me use, then let me know in the comments down below. I am happy to use any Pokemon you recommend me, as long as it's not a Weedle. Do not recommend me Weedle. Apart from that, I will be happy to use anything. Okay, my opponent seems to be ringing Mono Water, which is cool. Nice to see some variation and not super meta teams, despite him using Greninja, but hey. Uh, because he's bringing Mono Water, Shift Tree is kind of a must. I'm also going to bring uh, Tapu Lele because of how good Psychic is against his team. Besides that Greninja, everything gets bought by Tapu Lele. Um, and also, Torkoal would come in really handy because of the sun. I know it sounds stupid, but sunlight is actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to open up with, so I'm bringing these three now, who do I open up with? That is a good question. I think my opponent may very well open up with either Swampert or Greninja. Um, I'm going to, hmm, you know what, should we just set up turn one? Why not? Let's bring Shift Tree. Let's, let's show off our Shift Tree. We see Gyarados open actually, that's kind of scary, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Gyarados, funnily enough, doesn't have any flying type moves besides Bounce. But realistically, no one really runs bounce on a Gyarados. So I feel quite comfortable actually just setting up a nasty plot or just going straight for Leaf Storm. I say we just go straight for Leaf Storm, see how much it does. My opponent switches straight away into Pelipper, sets up the rain. Good play, I'd say, but that Leaf Storm does a butt turn. You do not want to take that Pelipper. And now it's fairly obvious what is going to happen. My opponent is going to go for Hurricane. I'm going to predict that and go into Torkoal and set up the sun to kind of nullify the effects. Hurricane is very likely to... Uh, I was going to say, Hurricane is very likely to miss in the sun, but my opponent still landed one. I now have to kind of hope that um, my opponent misses their Hurricane, as I... Hmm. Now, what would my opponent do here? My opponent would probably go for Hurricane and bank on landing it for the second time. I could go for Sludge Bomb and just say, screw it, I'm just going to take my Torkoal down, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I think what I... Hmm, actually... I think I'm just going to go for Sludge Bomb. We have a lot of investment. My opponent switches out into Gyarados. I don't know why you would really do that besides, um, I don't know, going back in with your Pelipper now. Uh, seeing my opponent doing that, I've got a feeling the Pelipper is going to come back in. I'm going to go straight into Tapu Lele because this thing can just bop anything on my opponent's team now. Especially because that Gyarados is weakened. So, bring it on, Wasta! Come on, what have you got for me? i got a feeling you're going to switch out right now. Waterfall. Okay, well, I'm quite glad I switched out then because even with the Sun, that would have done a an unnecessarily large amount of damage to my Torkoal. Right here, I can go for Moonblast. If that, honestly, if that Quillfish comes in, then mad props. I really don't think Quillfish can live a Moonblast, like two Moonblasts from my Tapu Lele, especially I'm choiced. In comes Pelipper. Goodbye, Pelipper. I see now why my opponent did that just to get, there's the Quillfish. My opponent brought Quillfish, mad props. Well, I have Shift Tree, which is great. Uh, well, it's not great, this is the poison typing. Right here though, I'm just going to go into Torkoal, just nullify that rain, you are not getting any more rain I'm afraid because your Pelipper is dead. My opponent goes for Poison Jab and gets the poison, that is just my luck. 
I think my best bet is just to let Torkoal go down. I'm going to go for Earth Power in case my opponent decides to do something crazy, but no, takes me out. We can now pretty comfortably go into Shifri or Tapu Lele. We outspeed with our Tapu Lele, so I'm going to do that. Um, Shiftry would just get bopped by a poison jab. I don't want that to happen, so let's just go for Psy Shock right here. My, if my opponent has Greninja, which I know they don't, but hey, <laughs> if they did, then who cares? Well, goodbye, I'm afraid, Quillfish. That is the end for you. And in comes Gyarados. This is looking like the end, unless this is a Mega Gyarados, but even so, it is not. <laughs> and I take my first win there, so that was pretty good. I've got to say, it wasn't really Shiftry that won it for me, it was mainly Tapu Lele, but hey. Shiftry contributed, so let's jump into our second battle right now. Okay, my opponent is bringing Volcarona, Amoongus, Thunderous, Metagross, Landorus Therian, and Primarina. Pretty tough team, pretty hard to beat. Looking at this team, there's a double flying weakness there, and not a whole lot to resist it besides the Thunderous. Um, so for that reason, Celesteela looks pretty good. Also, Fire types do very well against this team, um, especially Torkoal. I'm actually quite tempted to open with Torkoal again. Um, also looking at this team, uh, I would say that Darmanitan does well as well, um, because of the bug type. U-turn is great against three of my opponent's Pokemon, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Torkoal, Darmanitan, and Celesteela, because I want to get some air slashes off on this thing. Okay, so my opponent opens Thunderous, and I go with Torkoal. That's not the worst thing in the world for me. I could see a Thunder Wave coming, which would suck, but hey, this is I have nothing really for that. I'm going to go straight for Lava Plume. My opponent goes for Substitute. Thank God we went for Lava Plume, because if we had gone for Shell Smash, that would have been very bad for us. Um, I now say we just go for Lava Plume again. If my opponent wants to switch into Pre-Marina, I have the Sludge Bomb. My opponent instead goes for Protect. That kind of sucks. I'm giving away... I'm giving the impression that I'm choice, which is quite cool. I'm now going to... Lava Plume, hmm, do I Lava Plume? I'm gonna go for Shell Smash, screw it! My opponent goes for Sub as I go for Shell Smash, that's kinda bad for me, but hey, we have the White Herb so it doesn't matter too much. Now we can have some fun. Let's go for Lava Plume now. What are you gonna do to me, Thunderous? Toxic? Ha! Watch this, destroy your Lava Plume. Is this Toxic Stool? Is this really Toxic Stool? Am I seeing this right now? This sucks. Screw you! Ah, oh, That's horrible. Why would you play like that? Lava Plume again, you're going for Protect, I know what's happening, I have to, I'm just going to stay in, I'm getting my money's worth with this Torkoal, screw this land, this Thunderous, horrible strategy. You go for Sub again, I break the Sub, I know what happens here. This is boring, come on, boring play. Come on, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Mm, I can't burn him, <laughs> it sucks. Alright, I'm going to predict the Protect here actually, and go into, oh hey for Hidden Power Ice, that would be very helpful. Instead I'm going to go for Dark Manitan, screw this. My opponent goes to protect. I hate you. This this is a terrible strategy. How can you possibly want to do this? Let's go for U-turn here. U-turn should break the sub. I think U-turn would break the sub. It's only times two resisted. Okay. My opponent goes to protect again to scout. That's a good play on my opponent's part. It's probably just going to go for substitute here. I don't see the point of this strategy. Is it just stall? Because I hate stall teams. Substitute. Ah, oh, very fun. Break the sub, please. It doesn't break the sub. Oh my gosh. Welp, that's kind of GG. Stool is the worst strategy in the world. He says he sends out a Celesteela, I know, but this isn't a stool team. Okay, um, let, let's drop, let's drop a Hidden Power Ice. Thunder? What? He got a crit? No, that wasn't meant to happen. Uh-oh, <laughs> this is going bad. Well, um, I didn't expect that. I thought my opponent would just go for another Protect and be a douche, like he is doing now. I'm going to concede, actually. Let's jump into the third battle. I hate this team. <laughs> it's boring to watch. Let's just jump into the third battle. Sorry if you were a fan of that kind of strategy, but hey, that was not a good play to play. Take it from me, play more aggressively. It's way too boring to play like that. Salamence, Volcarona, Zapdos, Ferrothorn, Porygon 2, and Jellicent. We're having a hard time against these matchups. This is hyper competitive. Well, Ice types have a great time. It's a shame I don't have any. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring Shiftry because why the hell not? I also want to bring Gyarados. Gyarados is great for the Volcarona. Apart from that, it gets bopped. I would say I need Darmanitan. I don't, do I need Darmanitan? No, I don't actually need There's too many Rocky Helmet users here, or potential Rocky Helmet users. And Intimidators. I'm bringing Shiftry for the Jellicent because why not? I'm also going to bring Tapu Lele. And let's bring... Hmm... 
what do we run on Celeste Steeler? We have Flamethrower, Air Slash, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power, Ice. Hidden Power, Ice would be great. So would Air Slash. Yeah, let's bring those then. Okay, let's bring Tapu Lele, Celesteela, and Shiftry. Because we love Shiftry. Okay, so we open Tapu Lele, my opponent opens Zapdos. That's pretty good for us, actually. We can just fire off. Uh, looking at my opponent's team, I just want to fire off the Moonblast. Okay, I think I'm going to go for Moonblast. Let's do this thing. Boom! That is a two-hit KO right there. And we get the special attack drop. That is great. My opponent goes for Roost. I don't know why he did that, really. I'm just going to go for another Moonblast. It's just a futile strategy. You just lost your special attack. That's all that just happened. I could have just gone for... What's it called? Captivate. I could have just gone for Captivate. Ferrothorn comes in. At least we know Ferrothorn exists. Celesteela is going to be clutch. I'm going to go into it now because... Fer what can you do to me, Ferrothorn? I have Flamethrower. You have what? Gyro Ball? But look at me, I'm a flipping hunk of steel. What are you going to do to me? Okay, I'm going to start the timer because I'm sick of stall teams and I just want a fast, competitive game. That is what Pokemon should be about. I will fight for that. Leech Seed. Oh, don't you just love stall teams? If this opponent, if my opponent goes for Protect now, I'm going to be pretty mad. Okay, this doesn't go for Protect. We go, in for, we go for Flamethrower. My opponent switches into Zapdos. All right by me. Get Leech Seeded, which sucks. But hey, we're doing all right. Let's go back into Tapu Lele. Predictable, I know, but Zapdos has nothing for Tapu Lele. I know the moves that it would run. Substitute. Great. I love stall teams. Right here, uh, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball in case that Ferrothorn wants to come back out. This should still break the sub because of specs. Toxic. Sub Toxic. Roost. Are you kidding me? Okay. It's probably going to go for... We outspeed, which is nice, so it can't go for Roost. Well, it can't, it can't go for... Um... Substitute, it wouldn't work really, but it goes for Roost instead, which really sucks. I don't know what my opponent is trying to do. I don't think this this, uh, this team even has an electric, this Zapdos doesn't even have an electric type move. I'm going to gamble on that. Substitute, that is fine by me. I have Hidden Power Ice for you Zapdos. Unfortunately, this is going to stall out my Life Orb uh, recoil. Discharge, oh, it does have an electric type move, that sucks. We get paralyzed, we fire off a Hidden Power Ice. And we almost take ourselves out with Life Orb Recoil. It's okay though. Um, I'm, I can't do anything. This really sucks. I'm going to switch out predicting a Discharge. My opponent just can't resist wanting to take me out. There we go. Discharge drops. We can't get paralyzed. We get a free um, free Moonblast, Sideshock or Shadow Ball off on whatever we want. I'm going to just fire off Moonblast. It would probably do the same amount as a Shadow Ball to a Ferrothorn. Probably not actually. But I just want to get some huge damage off on this Zapdos. I don't care if it goes for Roost. I just want to hit it. It feels good to hit it. It switches out. He switches out to Ferrothorn. Moonblast should still do a good dam amount of damage. That's not too bad. Um, and right here, uh, what did my opponent go for last time? Leech Seed. All right, I'm gonna be real. Predict the Leech Seed and go out into Shift Tree. Come on, Shift Tree. It's your time to shine right now. Time to shine. We predict the Leech Seed. Oh my gosh, are we getting this off right now? Okay, we could either go for Focus Blast straight on the Ferrothorn, or we predict the Zapdos coming in. Well, we're Focus Sashed either way. I say we just go for Focus Blast. Let's do it. Oh! And we take out a Ferrothorn! Shift Tree coming through! There you go, Wad Doing Man. That is how you use a Shift Tree in Battle Spot Singles to take out Ferrothorn. Woo! That felt good. Alright. Um, we do not have speed Zapdos, which really sucks, so I have to just go for Dark Pulse, I'd say. Um, I have Tapu Lele to take out Zapdos, so I'm just gonna go for damage. Dark Pulse, you have no flying type move, so let's see what you go for. Toxic, you're probably gonna start setting up subs now, which really sucks. I'm gonna try and get the flinch with this Dark Pulse, that's my only hope really right now. Let's see if we get it. Nope, my opponent goes to substitute. Okay, well, Dark Pulse isn't actually breaking the sub, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I only just realized that now. All right, we're in a kind of terrible situation right now because Celesteela was my only real way to take Zapdos out, but Celesteela has 2% HP. So I have to gamble. Um, I'm going to go to Tapu Lele, predicting the Roost, and then try and break the sub in the Moonblast. Um, there's the Roost. He doesn't get up to full health, even with the leftovers, which is good. I'm going to break the sub, as my opponent probably goes for another substitute. But the idea is that we just use Tapu Lele to whistle this thing down, and then come in with Shift Tree and go for a nasty plot. My opponent goes to Discharge, actually. Um, so my opponent now has no sub up, no sub. All we have is a to so Toxic Shift Tree, that's hard to say. Alright, nasty plot. Come on, this is our only hope. We have to just do work quickly. There's the sub. Dark Pulses will break the sub now, and we can hope for Flinches, which is what we're going to go for. Come on, flinch, flinch, flinch. I'm so glad. I almost put life up on this shift tree, which would have been terrible in a situation like this. It would have been absolutely terrible because we would have taken toxic damage. 
and we would have taken um, Life Orb Recall, which we probably would have lost our shift tree already. Can we get the flinch? No. I don't know if Substitute works with flinches if it prevents it. You know what would be really good right now? I would love a Noivern. Uh, Noivern, Hyper Voice, boom, this thing would just be gone because it hits behind subs. Can we get one flinch? No. I don't think flinches work, which sucks. But we are slowly whittling this Zapdos down. It can now no longer go for Substitutes. It was going to go for Discharge, but unfortunately I think we've lost this one, which does really suck. I tried my hardest. I'm going to go for Dark Pulse. I have to. I don't know if we can get any flinches. It goes for Roost. Are you kidding me? Do I lose my uh, Shift to Toxic? I do. Wow. My opponent is a douchebag right there. Douchebag. Hidden Power Ice. We go down to Discharge, but... I think I tried hard. I did not bring a super competitive team like my opponent. I'm a little salty, but at the same time, I was so pleased. Shiftry got a Focus Blast off on a Ferrothorn, ending up giving us a pretty good edge in that game. We almost had it. I just couldn't take out a Zapdos. So it was just too much for me, especially a substituting Zapdos. But that's going to wrap up my episode of Spotlight there. So I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please show some blue paw power to that like button down below. I do really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to never miss a video coming your way. Have a great day. Peace.